You're always here. Now, first from over here and yonder, with, with the arms. There's lots of different variations. Many years ago, I used to really enjoy the timing we used to use, which was fast and then slow. And then we turned fast and then slow. I know some groups still do that. I used to really like that. Boom JK starts doing the whole thing slow and smooth. So that's the one we're going to do today, slow and smooth. It's not many people do correctly, to be fair. Applications for the first, these moves. I was always taught blocking and striking. So whether it be spear hand to the throat, shoot over to the neck, or take show to the nose, the applications, basic application is here. And then for this one, you know, when, when this arm blocks up, similar sort of thing. So someone coming from the front, blocking up and striking, when the catheter is here, but one of the applications is here, and then again here. So we used to practice three basic applications with each first move. But there's also, we'll go over this next week, a really cool takedown with the arm. Someone punching and you're using this movement here to take them down across the arms. That's really cool. But we're gonna be working on the catheter in detail, so here we go. Okay, your first move. From here, the hands don't move, they just open. So as my body weight drops, the hands are going to open at the same time. As my body weight drops and my hands open, I look to the left. As I drop, look to the left and open my hands, my left foot starts to move. Now the, the arms, try not to do this. This is what a lot of people do. Stop, and then the arms start moving. As soon as you start the move, the arms don't stop. So as soon as I start the move, these arms start to move also. Okay, yoy. So, if you look to the left, slowly drop down the weight, hands open, and extend into the first double block. Ready? One. Then from here, transfer your body weight and twist to the left leg. Two. Hands just drop down. Just simply drop down to the left arm. Look, elbow. Hand just drops. Right hand, drop. From here, two. And then slowly, three. Okay, back to the start. Okay, so with this move, three to four seconds. Slow, come on, come on. It's not, try not to do this look, guys, as well. A lot of people do this sort of thing. And then at the end of the move, they do this. I can remember training with Sugimoto, and he was laughing hysterically. We were watching on an old VHS video, the World Championships, and there was a guy doing Unsu, and he was very dynamic and very athletic. But when he got to this, when he'd done this first move, Sugimoto sensei was intently watching. And then when he got to this bit here, he went like this at the end. <clears throat> Fast. And, and Sugimoto sensei just went, oh, 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 and then just started laughing and couldn't stop laughing. He couldn't understand why us Westerners, some of us do the moves like that at the end, the slow control move, we suddenly speed up at the end. People began on down like this. When they get to the end, they sort of speed up and kime. No, no, it's a slow, controlled kime. So the movement stays slow and smooth. Yoy! Looking to the left, drop the weight, open the hands. One. Transfer the body weight and keep moving. Two. Remember, on the first move, the right arm 
comes up in front of the forehead. It rolls up. So it's like agyuki, it's like the old fashioned agyuki. The old fashioned agyuki, the old way, was the arm would come across the stomach and it would roll up like this. That's this move. Open hand, it rolls up in front of the forehead. So the arm rolls up. So when I'm on this side, when I change, this arm rolls up. It rolls up in front of the forehead. It's gotta be a bit slower. Some of you are doing it too fast. Control, it's Zanshin, so Zanshin. So there's the aggressor and they're getting ready to attack and you're literally going and you're ready, ready. So have that feeling on the first two moves of being ready. Focus. Don't let the eyes wander. Ready, guys? First move. Your one. Two. Remember the hands are in the shooto position. So the thumb is pulled back tight on top, not folded across. So the hands are in the shooto position which is the thumb pulled back and tight. The wrist is straight. Try not to have a bend one way or the other. Try and keep it dead straight down the back of the wrist. 